Okay, so I'll sort of walk through the process of booting up my computer here. I've got the three screens. These two screens are powered by the AGP video card dual DVI output. This screen over here is powered by my PCI video card. When I boot up, the two main displays have the console. Those are where the main output goes to. The far left screen, the PCI video card, doesn't have any kind of output on it. And then it'll load Grub. Okay, as you can see, you got the two main displays here. These are in clone mode. Everything that happens on the center screen also happens on the right screen. Um, so I'll start, you know, my main operating system here. Once the uh, operating system is booted up, I log in with my username and totally insecure password. And uh, then I'll start my X session just the way you always do by typing start X. Hit enter. Now when when X first comes up, you're going to see my main window manager is on the is on the left screen or excuse me is on the right screen and on the left screen. This is the way it's always been even before I added the third monitor. I've got my dock application starting on the right, which yeah, you can see that. And the way this works is I don't know if you can see the mouse cursor or not, I'm not sure. The uh the mouse cursor moves between all three screens just as if they were all one monitor. So that hasn't changed. If I open a simple program, let's just say LeafPad, so I didn't want to start that yet. Um, you can see LeafPad, you know, it starts and I can drag it around between these two screens just like a normal large display, but you'll notice that I can't take it to the far left screen, the one over there, because because it's configured separately, nothing happens over there. If I move the, cow the mouse cursor to this left screen and click around, nothing happens because there's it's just it's just a dead display at this point. There's nothing on it. You could see the plain gray background over here. So it's just letting you know there's nothing going on. Here you can see the uh, the mouse cursor bouncing back and forth between the screens. So that part. You know that part works just as, um, just as it would if uh, all three screens were configured as one large desktop. Okay, so how do I use this third screen? If there's nothing on it, and clicking around on the screen does nothing, how do I use it? Well, these two screens are the primary display. They're configured as uh, the the environment variable for display is colon. 0.0. .0. .0. So that's these two these two screens. They're that they're 0.0. .0. Now normally, if you were to say like Alt F, Control Alt F8 to go to another display, that would be colon 1.0. And if you were to go Control Alt F9, that would be colon 2.0. The uh, the 0, .0, .0 refers to, well, I should say the colon zero refers to these displays, or refers to this whole, all three of these. Colon zero refers to all three of these. Colon zero dot zero refers to the primary two displays that are, that are active. Colon zero dot one refers to this monitor over here by itself. So if I want to use that monitor, <clears throat> bring up terminal, and I can type export display equals colon zero dot one. Now when I type just any program, like let's say XIs, you can see XIs starts on the far left screen. But I have no way to control it. I can't, because there's no window manager running, I can't click on it and drag. Let me uh, zoom in on XIs here for just a second. 